Your question today, where do we get our furniture? We are Revisions Mentor and we have created this YouTube channel to create resource for you to find the information you need that's going to help you get your home staging business off the ground. So let's talk about where we get our furniture because this is a question that you guys are asking us over and over and over and it's, it's important. Yeah. It is. So the first step that you need to take is to get your business license. Get your, have yourself established as a, a business entity within your state through your Secretary of State website. And then you use your EIN number, and for us the tax exemption number, um, to create business accounts with wholesale distributors. Yeah. And the way we did that is we actually looked around for furnishings that we liked, that we knew we could use, stuff that was really going to work for us, and it was kind of to our, our taste and our style as mm -hmm. home stagers. And we went directly to those manufacturers, and mm -hmm. the process was pretty simple. Actually, you did most of those, Erin. You mm -hmm. want to tell them? Yeah, so they'll <laughs> send you the forms that they need filled out, and your primary information that you need to provide is your, your tax exempt information and your EIN and then your delivery locations. You have to figure out your minimum orders and how you're mm. gonna pay for your items. That's, that's actually a thing, not to interrupt you, but um, most of these accounts actually require minimum orders. Minimum buy-in, yeah. yeah. So um, a lot of times, you know, they're selling to um, showrooms, to stores and uh, retailers. So they expect you to do a minimum purchase and sometimes it's $1,500, sometimes it's 2,000, sometimes it's 10,000. So you want to go ahead and establish those um, parameters before you set up your trade accounts and you know decide what your budget is and go ahead and start ordering those pieces. Yeah. And once you once you kind of identify where you want your furniture to be coming from, you need to look at a couple of other logistic pieces that actually matter when you're receiving directly from manufacturers. And one of those points is uh, delivery. We've touched on this before, but it's really important. A lot of manufacturers will not deliver to uh, residential uh, locations. So you can't have it delivered to your client's home. You actually have to have it delivered to a commercial space. And that requires organization um, to meet your delivery people mm -hmm. on the day that it's going to arrive and being able to work within an open window because they never have a real specific uh, delivery time. Yes. And you need to have the manpower to help them unload the trucks because they don't come with movers. So mm -hmm. you need to have somebody to intercept the delivery and get it into your storage space. Mm -hmm. So these were um, some interesting uh, hiccups that we've run into. And we covered that in our other video about stage, uh, storing your staging inventory. And you can click on the link below to watch that video once you finish this one. All right. You also need to consider how long it's going to take to get that, that um, ordered inventory in. Some of our vendors take one to two weeks. Some of them take four to 12 weeks. And yeah. that, that, is, you know, that can be a deal breaker. It, you know, we often don't have that kind of time. No. Um, so you have to plan ahead a little bit if that's how you're going to um, source your furniture. And on that note, I think it's safe to say also that we don't only get our furniture from um, directly from manufacturers. We also shop locally in our community. Yeah. Um, sometimes that's a big box store. Um, yeah. Sometimes that's a local furniture store. Um, yeah. Sometimes that's from local artists and craftsmen um, that we can work with who have you know things that we like to use. Yeah. So we do a bit of all of it. We do a bit yeah. of all of it. And there are often these um, resale stores around town. They're cool. You know, some people really like the, the painted wood furnishings and um, the repurposed stuff. And that's great. It works for some people. Um, we found that some of the painted furniture gets nicked up and damaged when we, um, when we transport it a lot. So we've kind of veered away from that. But if that's your aesthetic and that's your style, it's a great way to accumulate inventory and to support you know local vendors as well and the pricing can often be better on that as well so yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so to recap here's where you can get your furniture number one contact manufacturers directly make sure you think about the logistics around the timing and the pricing of all of that um, number two shop locally support your local artists support your local small businesses, get pieces that, that are easy to acquire in your community, especially if you're short on time. Absolutely. So do us a favor and click on the link below and send us a quick email and we'll send you some freebies that you can download to help you with your home staging business. 
and drop a comment below. If there's a question that comes to mind, if there's something that's giving you pause in your home staging business, drop us a question and we'll cover it in one of our upcoming videos. Let us know what you'd like to hear. Thanks for watching.